What's up guys and welcome back. In this episode I want to play some cash game on GG Poker um, and I also want to continue my challenge just a little bit, probably playing around 30 minutes or so. So let's have a look. Um, I'm gonna be playing um, NL2, the lowest buy-in of course. That's our starting role. I haven't played in a while. Um, and I want to four table the rush format. So we definitely will have some nice action. By the way, I'm wearing my nice PokerStars shirt. Uh, different side, but same game. <laughs> so let's just start. I already seeded in because I needed to figure out how you configure the auto rebuy. Um, so if I lose a blind or whatever amount of blinds, it will all automatically refill to 100 big blinds. So yeah. Let's start. I played like 10 hands or so just to check that. And we are back. Um, I can make a quick fold here. Check 10, probably also folding, folding, folding. It's gonna be a lot of folding, I guess. I um, also want some music. I'm gonna raise this. Sometimes limping is also fine. Also raising this one, this one, and three bending the ace king. <laughs> nice action. Um, here you can, of course, see bet but I'm gonna check and bet turn I think it's given my button range is very wide here I don't have to see bet every flop here and I also will do that actually with quite a few ace x to not get the auto faults depending I mean um, yeah let's see 4 3 suited I think it's not an open but I think in this limit why not king check is gonna be a fault definitely 3 betting the ace king here and we get it through, which is nice. I mean, the, the queen 10 here. Um, I think, yeah, definitely an opening. Yeah, that's the problem. I mean, probably it's just a fault. We can't call this race. We could, um, I mean, we are in position, but still, no thanks. It would just be wasting big blinds. Not what I came here for, I mean. 10-7, <laughs> uh, I think against the 2.5x. Oh, this is a bomb pot. That's nice. Um, I think I know how to play this. I'm probably just jamming this. Yeah, I'm just jamming this. Good luck, us. That's an interesting one. You may be wondering what the heck you're jamming 100 big blinds, but with the 10 big blinds, it's just like as if the the blinds are 10x. So suddenly we only have a stack of 10 big blinds, so to speak, of what's in the middle. Uh, well, I'm gonna give up here. Betting this one. <clears throat> I could barrel, but I don't think there's much I get to fold. Maybe some King X stuff. But I think he has some pairs here that he's probably not folding. King 9, I don't know if he would fold that. Um, I have no idea here. I think a C bit is fine. <clears throat> Here probably not even a defend with King Deuce. I don't know. If he min bets small land, I probably defend. Um, I think we can. Well, let's just raise it up like a normal person. Here I'm going for set mining. I don't know if it's correct actually out of position. King the sizing. I mean, it has some post flop playability. For example, here, I definitely have all the queens in my range more than him, and so. <laughs> I think it depends on the turn if I want to start bluffing this. I should get some checkbacks here. Yeah, I mean, probably even Ace King brings some checkbacks here. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna check again. If he barrels, I probably just fold. Now I have a pure bluff catcher. I don't really. I'm not in a position to bluff his, his perceived range here. Yeah, just folding. 10 8 suited. I think it's a frequency thing. I'm probably opening it almost 100% in these stakes, but. 9 8 suited under the gun. I don't know. We can open it. <laughs> if I notice, like, um, I'm leaking chips, probably will start folding more. Against this guy, I mean, he's so short. We're probably playing for stacks if I hit something. That's definitely not a hit. Um, so I'm just folding. The forex under the gun, I think, yeah, I mean, that, 
well, it's so easy to play against this this type of sizing and pro possible probable range. So I think the king nine suited call is not the worst. But yeah, what do I know? Um, I'm just flatting this. And he's a tight boy, I think. I still bring in the four bed and then fold to more action. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna continue on this board. Actually, it's a good check race board. Problem is I don't have really many made hands here. So, well, still, I mean, I have all the sets compared to him. He has, of course, also some, but he's a lot of overpairs, but also a lot of Broadway that's probably gonna be auto folding here. And we have some backdoor equity if he just flat, so. Yeah, I actually like the race more than a flat call, I think. Uh, I'm folding this. Uh, I think this is not a bad a light three bed spot, and it gets getting it through here. I'm gonna call four bet this, not call, just gonna four bet the ace five suited. <coughs> fold, 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 king check suited, check eight, fold that's suited, probably a fold from this position. Check nine might be on an open, I don't know. Whoops, that was a misclick. I am never folding my sixes here, even though it was under the gun plus two, I think. Uh, this guy, I think with his three bit range, it's just gonna four bit light. King checks who that. Uh, it's not my favorite thing, but yeah, uh, it's okay. I'm not sure about the sizing. Well, I'm gonna see bit here and hoping for folds, but it's gonna be a big. Gonna be another barrel here. Nice. Oh, no action with the kings. That's unfortunate. Um, nah, queen check. No, I'm not three betting this one light. Nine three. Should I even wait until the action is. I can limp this. Um, I'm gonna check and bet turn big. Yeah, <laughs> should work against his perceived range here. I don't know. Queen eight. Did I open this and then I? I think I'm just folding. King 10 under the gun is actually a fault, so it's kind of a misclick. Yeah. I mean, we could turn it. No, let's just fold. Let's, let's also have an under the gun fold range, which is the King 10 here. I mean, I could have turned it into a light 4 bet, but no thanks. Gonna bet here once and fold to action. Good. Defending the turn nine against this massive opening. Wow. Whoa! <laughs> what the heck? Do you guys see this range? Amazing. Over 380 something hands. Wow. I'm gonna check race here. Blind versus blind, and I have the gut shot, backdoor flash draw, some overcard. Still barreling this turn. And here I'm raising. I don't know if this should be a race, not sure. I'm getting ready for a river shove here. Oh, that's nice. He snap checks. Um, I don't know about the sizing. <laughs> but I mean on this board, ah, actually I should size it to smaller. Uh, I'm giving up here, I don't know. Yeah, it's not falling that. I, I there are too many missed draws. He knows that. I mean, I don't think we even get him to fold if I overshuffle here. Um, but I mean, that's a specific hand. Given his over range, it seemed very strong. Did not necessarily king strong, but um, it's really hard. I, I noticed like four tables a little bit too much. My brain can't process action on other tables too well. Um, if I'm really thinking about one spot. So that said, I might reduce 
table account. Oh, bomb pot again. Let's play, play it as exploitable as we can. Hopefully get a hand that's shovable. Just gonna pot it and fall to any action. I think a check here is nice with all the backdoor stuff here. Yeah, that sucks. I don't even know if that's a thing with this terrible hand. Maybe I should just raise like a normal... I'm gonna call here. <sighs> Hello, strange board. I'm gonna check again. Oh, I'm betting for value. <laughs> Maybe I should bet the turn here. I don't know. Pocket force. Seven five. I'm gonna check it once. Not sure. Big bet on the turn. Raising kings. We're getting quite some kings here. That's a little bit too big. I didn't want to make it pot. Oh nice. We're getting three bet by three bet monkey. Four bet by him. Problem is he might be light four betting here a lot because he sees his sta stats. I'm just gonna go very tiny here. So they know I have some... <laughs> what the heck? What the heck is this? See a noob? No, I'm falling my ace queen here. Okay, good luck. Hopefully it's not aces. Would be so annoying. I mean, look at his stats. It's aces. What the fuck? Look at the stats from this guy. Run it once. <laughs> fuck. Sorry. That's, that's annoying. Like, this is insane. Given his stats, this is just a joke. Um, yeah, attempt to steal, go away, man. Yeah, unfortunate. Let's throw something at this guy. Um, actually, I'm gonna check. I, I can also bet tiny. See, I think this one. You donk? What the donk? I mean, it could be some flash draws. Not sure what donks here. I don't know. 7 8 of hearts? Not sure about this play here. Maybe some weak king. No, that sucks. I probably have to give up this river. What is that? Okay, interesting. Gonna make a note on this guy. Um. What was it king six three? Something like that. Hmm. I tend to steal so high, I'm raising, but flatting is definitely also fine. This is also a crazy attempt to steer, right? Just to raise it up. Ay ay ay. Gonna barrel it and if if we get a nine or an ace, I'm gonna barrel again because I'm blocking the nuts trade. So defending here because they have crazy ranges. Okay. Betting big now, but not too big, and shoving river. I'll raise him up. Also not too big. Okay, went through. Oof. Interesting turn. I mean, this shouldn't hit his range too much. Yeah, sometimes, but...
Not sure about the sizing here, to be honest. Okay, what the heck. Could be a top pair jacks, 8 and 9. Very unlucky, 8 and 9. Ah, can't fault my two pair here, I'm too, too bad. Aces, that's nice. No thanks. Let's just hold, please. I'm gonna flat the tens here, yeah, nice hold. That's an interesting board. Definitely need to peel one here. I mean, he plays it like an over pair knit, but peeling one should be fine. And now he sh should slow down some, unless he has like kings with the diamond. Okay, I think I can very comfortably fold this against this play. <laughs> do here such a nice quee spot aces he three bets everything okay snap flat snap donk Let's go, hopefully he doesn't have it. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> what is this? But nice, thanks for the coins. What is this? We flopped the nuts. Oh my goodness. Okay, bro. Um, that's too big. Holding here. That sucks, why is the turn here? What the heck? Come on, shove it, but not aces, please. I mean, 5-7 beats us, right? So, uh, what's the good sizing? I don't know. Might have a set, maybe a set of fours. Would be awesome. Please, no 5-7. What a size, ah, oh, shit. It's hopefully just ace-5. Yeah, thanks. Flatting here, king nine, three point five fix. I don't know. Yeah. Nice flop. <laughs> what the heck? I gotta go to infinity here with my queen four, I guess. Sherlock. Yeah, this is always bullshit. Like, we, and I know I would have made my two pair on the river. No, but honestly, like this min bet and min click back. Uh, King nine suited. Yeah, definitely raising big here. One fold through. Not checking check here, that's a great board to check, I think. Back to equity to the second pair. Um here just bring in the cold four bet. Calling here, hoping for that's not the best river. A lot of stuff gets there. Oh that's so annoying here. Okay, he had a speed oh so, well. I'm gonna bet tiny here. Oops, that's not tiny. Yep. Falling ace four. Could could have folded anyway. I'm gonna bring another barrel here. Oh, another bomb pod. Does that happen so often, or are we just lucky? Oh, nice. We get it through. Beautiful. Um, I'm gonna re-raise here, hoping for some fold. Uh, against tight boy here, I'm just calling my eights and flopping on top set, of course. So easy. Uh, I mean, I hope we hold. Should I raise this? We are so deep. 
Let me erase very big so it looks more like a draw. Holding here. <laughs> I mean, who raises with top set like that, right? I, I don't know if he finds a fault with an overpair here. I don't know. If he does, kudos to him, but that was my idea and I want to charge it. Maybe I'm just stupid at playing my set. Uh, but I guess the little play, he's not bringing in another bet there with ace king. Uh, unless he has the nut flush draw. And an over pair, I think, a decent amount of times with that bet might stack off. Maybe I'm wrong here. So deep, I think I can play the 6 5 suited. And we're in for uh, almost 20 minutes. It's a really big re race here. I don't know if it's a thing to flat 10 8. Wow. I'll call here once. I think I can call here too. All very dice. Interesting board. I'll call here once. It's a big bet on the <laughs> difficult problem is they can have some better flash draws here. I'm gonna raise this. Uh, yeah. This guy, I don't know. Really don't know. Don't know what to do with this flash here. Nice. Uh, this is good. I mean... Or uh, should I just do flatting, or put, do I put it all in here? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Does he still find a fault here? <laughs> what is that? Aces with? Wow, nice! <laughs> Didn't expect him to be drawing that. Very unlucky, actually. I think. I mean, I don't know about my play. <laughs> Not too proud, but yeah, we make chips, so. Uh, Forex from Agro Steel Boy. Just gonna raise it anyway. Gonna. Bad. I don't know here. Should I play it like Ace King and Flat? Let's bring a tiny bit. Uh, him calling. I mean. I'm falling. Okay. People just like to fall. That's very nice. Um, I wish there was something like sit out next big blind. Why do they not have that? What is that? How to fold hand chart? What? What the fuck? I have. <laughs> they have that. Do not auto fold on the dealer button, okay? Wow. I'm raising everything here and against this guy I'm just flatting and flopping nothing. Um here is ten suited makes one fine flat. Ah uh, this is gonna be difficult. Is it even a call if he brings the seabed? <laughs> it's such a big seabed, I'm falling, it's too difficult. <clears throat> He should have some give ups here. Yeah, he keeps barreling. I'm barreling here. Yeah, we're just holding. Ace and suited here. Yeah, what can I do? Okay, check race turn. Does that make sense? Mm, small blind defend. I think I can fold. I'm defending here. That's a nice two pair. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, fives, let's go for set value out of position. Just, uh, I don't know, check calling is also fine here. <laughs> Come on, pay me the two extra cents with your ace, queen of hearts. What does he have? Check ten of hearts. Ah, I was... Almost correct. Um, 
I guess it's a call with the back door shit. Yeah, maybe not. Not with a back door gutshot blah. Uh, probably not. Okay, folding. Hold, fold, fold. Um attempt to steal so high, but out of position can check, just falling. King Queen I, I would three with light. Fold, fold. Okay. Uh coming to an end. Just wanted to dabble a little bit in the NL2. It's fun. I mean we ran good, I guess. For example, the 9-8 hand against Aces. Um but we also got some nice value and I also I actually lost big pot quite early on. Not sure. Queen 10, I guess it's the defend, yeah. If you close the action. I'm gonna raise it big here. <sighs> Do I bet this? I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I could. But it's like, oh, the straight came, so anyone with a queen bet. So I prefer betting here. Also a queen? Aces. Oh, nice. I don't know if aces even calls if I bet the turn, so... I'm gonna call here once. We raised preflop, small win versus big blind. That's a nice turn. Um, I'm blocking a little bit some straights. I think I'm gonna give up. Um, boom, boom. How much do I do here? I'm trying to also wrap some missed flush draws. I'll raise this. What do you donk me here, my friend? Nice, we get the value. Is that the guy? No, it's not the one donking with the... bio. Do I just go for a set? Finding value. I think I have to go again. Shit, he has the ace, okay. Oh, annoying. What's that line? Donking after. Uh, okay, it's NL2. It's NL2. Maybe it's even GTO approved or whatever. Um, okay, I'm stopping soon. I think I can peel one and definitely now I need to max bluff this. <laughs> I mean, he could have the ace of, the, uh, of clubs here. Still going high. Okay. Please sit out. His range is a little bit better here. Okay. Well, let's see if I made some profit. Yep, I think so. Can that be real? Did we make like 10? We made 10 euro and... Oh, that's insane. 10 euro and 53 cents. What? Um, that's pretty nice. And we played for 28 minutes. Pretty nice. What the heck? Uh, 28. Still can't believe it, yeah, but but it's it's true. Oh no, it's um minus four. Because that's our starting minus um 
minus eight. Okay, oops. So we made two euro 53 profit. That's still nice. It's not as insane as I thought it would be. I have to check that actually. Um, I will check it after the video, watch the video again, but I'm quite sure it was just 2.53 um, because I forgot that I'm already sitting there with four, four times um, eight dollars, four times two dollars. But yeah, so actually four times so. Uh, yeah, I will have to check again. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Um, that was a fun session, definitely profitable one. I will let you know in the next one how profitable, profitable exactly, because I think I missed a little bit there um, regarding the buy-in we had. Yeah, I'm gonna do a similar one with um, higher cash game, maybe NL25 or NL10 or something. Um, out of this challenge, not not part of this challenge, just to see how cash game is going. Um, I've been playing a little bit live, but online cash game is really not my thing. Generally cash game, not my thing, but it's nice and um, you get some good practice by playing some Zoom stuff online um, for live games. Of course the pace is totally different, but you get a good, if you're looking at ranges and stuff, you can get a lot of hands in in a quick time and get a good feeling of the kind of natural cash game dynamic. Of course, most most poker rooms only have six max tables, um, but generally speaking, it's still still a good practice. I mean, life usually is like eight, nine, ten handed even, usually nine handed, I think. Yeah. Again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and see you guys and girls very soon. Bye bye.